and I want to go over how to set up conversion tracking with Bing. Um, so when you're in the all campaign screen down in the left hand corner here you can see conversion tracking as one of your options so when you click it they're gonna have a lot of things here about how to do it different things like that but make it simple what you would need to do is create a UET tag which is a universal event tracking tag it's Bing's uh, basically Bing's conversion pixel and you have to create a conversion goal um, so what we're gonna do clear is click get started and it's going to say create your UET tag one. So UET tag name is just going to be the name of my website. So it's Beachfront Decor. Um, so universal tag for. And this pixel will be on every page of your website. So you need to add it to your website when you do it. So what we're going to do is copy this. Uh, so there's a JavaScript version, non-JavaScript. If your website doesn't use JavaScript, then you want to use, obviously, the non-JavaScript. You can email this. So if you have an advertising company that you work with, you can email it to them. You can download it, save it for later. Uh, so I have a copy here. You click Done. So now we have it created. So now what we have to do next is add it to my website. So I'm going to go over to my website and add it to it. Okay, so what you want to do is come into Appearance and Editor. There's two different ways to add this to your website. Um, I'm going to show you how to add it directly into your code. The other thing you can do is uh, you could use a Tag Manager plugin for WordPress. Um, I like to add things directly to my website, and then if I update my website, um, I have like a notification set so that I can redo all of my conversion pixels so they're always on my website. Uh, so what you can do is either go to the header file or the footer file. I'm going to put it in the footer file. Uh, so we come into the footer file. You either need to put it between the head tags or the body tags. Um, so you could put it here, right above the final body tag. And all you do is copy it, paste it here, and you just want to click Update File. So now once we do that, the universal event tracking tag will be right on our every single page on our website. So you'll be all set uh, to track conversions how you want to. Okay, so our file's edited successfully here. We can see it right in here. It's right above the body tag. So this pixel will track every single time someone visits a page, goes to my website, everything is tracked through Bing. Um, so now we can do some pretty cool things in Bing. So if we come back here, it's going to say unverified for a little bit until we have it all, you know, set up properly. But after you create your uh, universal event tracking tag, what you want to do is come to the conversion goals here and click on that. Um, what you want to do is create a conversion goal. So there's different things you can do. So destination URL. So let's just say, for example, you have an e-commerce website, and we do, and you want to track every time someone adds something to a cart. What you can do is name it, you know, add to cart or something like that. And then whatever your destination URL is for that, you know, if someone clicks on it and it brings them directly to their cart. So every time someone goes to the cart page or something like that, there should be conversion set up. I know with Shopify, they have them all set up for you. Same with sales. Uh, so for us, what we're going to do is track our giveaway thank you page. So what that will do is every time someone comes in and goes through our giveaway, um, it, it'll make it so that it tracks that they filled out the form. So show you how to set this up. So when people fill out the giveaway form, they're on this page, and they automatically, when they click enter, go to this page. So they go from the giveaway page to the thank you page. So now basically what it's saying is every time someone visits this thank you page, which they're only going to visit if they fill out that form, it's not easy to find anywhere else, um, you can first put it on specific account or across all accounts depending on how you have your thing set up. Um, you can do a value for conversion, so if it's sales or something like that. Um, and then how you'd like to count your conversion. So you could do all or unique. Um, I'm going to do unique because I don't want people to sign up 10 times. Um, so conversion windows 30 days that's good and it's going to ask what universal event tracking tag you want to use um, so ours is going to be beachfront decor the one we just set up and click save okay so now it says congratulations your conversion goals created so if i go in and create um, a campaign where people are going to my giveaway page and then they go to my thank you page then they're going to hit as a conversion and i could track those directly into bing and then i can optimize for those so